What is up my friends, Music Fridays, here we are again. I haven't done one of these in a while, but today two big albums came out. We had ASAP testing and then we had Pusha T's Daytona. So these are the newest albums out right now and Pusha T is the first one on an onslaught of good music coming out. We have the Kit Cudi and Kanye tape, then we have the Kanye uh, tape as well, and then we have the Tiana Taylor coming as well. So. A lot of good music this summer, and Pusha T just started off with a bang, let me tell you. Under 30 minutes, but every song is so, so good. Favorite one in particular is the Kanye West, What Would Make Do, and then we also have uh, the second one, I would say, Santeria. That one's really good. It has a really, um, has some Spanish going on in like every like verse or whatnot, and it sounds really good. Uh, and then the other one would be the Rick Ross with the hard piano. I think it's amazing. I think the instrumentals are beautiful in this and you can really tell that they did a lot with this one. This uh, whole like project itself sounds great. Uh, like Pusha T's always been that guy who can like just rap over anything and it sounds amazing. Ever since like I first heard about him when he uh, came on Kanye West and uh, Runaway, that was the first time I ever heard about Pusha T. I know he's been around a little bit longer than that, so uh, I was missing out on a lot of older music of his, but every time this guy brings out something new, it's just always great, and I really, really dig it, but I really think that Daytona is his best to date. I'm excited to see him working with Kanye now, and I thought I heard something, but anyways, um, yeah, I think it's really great. I think he did a tremendous job with Daytona. All the all the tracks were really good. It's under 30 minutes, but it still goes even better than some albums that are over an hour. So kudos to that to making it feel so like there's not no track in this that I skipped over. Sometimes I do that with tracks because they start sounding a little too uh, repetitive. But this one, this whole album, I listened back and forth twice, and I really, really enjoyed it. But anyways, what are your thoughts on Daytona? I'll be also talking about ASAP's testing, so make sure you check out that video. As I said, I loved it. My favorite song is What Would Meek Do, and I think it's just one of the best out there right now. His album is just, like, probably in the top three right now for the year. And that's saying something because we've got the Kanye West coming up next month. Uh, well, next week. And I'm excited for everything. So let me know your thoughts below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time. Stay positive.